That's death magic right there. That's magic from hell right there. Hello, hello, good people. It's Leviathan, and we're back with another reaction today. Today we are continuing up The Legend of Vox Machina on episode 4. And man, yo, last episode was surprisingly deep. We learned more about uh, the character Percy's backstory and things like that. We learned that him and his family used to basically own Whitestone, but were massacred and it was taken over by these people called the Briarwoods. The Briarwoods turned out to be the, um, the people that we saw in episode 2 at the very end. Which was which was really great because um, it kind of tied in with a lot of the stuff that was going on in last episode The King Uriel, you know, he invites Vox Machina to a feast I guess and kind of invites everybody else from all the realms and things like that What happens is, you know, Percy sees the Briarwoods, you know, kind of kind of like has PTSD and he wants revenge You know the end part of the episode was probably my favorite part like the fight with the Briarwoods and things like that because they both their names were Silas and Delilah and Silas ended up actually being a vampire Empire, which was which was some guesses that I was making like uh, a few episodes ago not sure about the light I think she's just like a necromancer but we'll see kind of further in because that because at the end of the episode you know they ended up escaping and Vox Machina got arrested so we don't know what's gonna happen in this episode I expect Vox Machina to be jailed but I don't expect this to be jailed for very long you know what I mean so I'm very excited to see what goes further with this don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next. And make sure you check out that Patreon link for full uncut reactions of this show, other animes and movies, things like that. Honestly, it's for you. Check it out. I uh, appreciate all the support that comes on there. But without further ado, we're going to get started with The Legend of Vox Machina Episode 4, Shadows at the Gate. Let's go. You've ruined our banquet assaulted political allies and risked the security of the realm Yo. throw them in <laughs> Yo, we're starting right here bro right here <laughs> Bryn, it's been a very long evening i will see that they are properly punished Alura, something is very wrong with uriel He's under the Briarwood's influence. Oh, I can feel it. Okay. That is a considerable All right, because I was wondering why he was so angry all of a sudden. But I think he might be actually under their uh, compulsion or vampiric Demon compulsion. Owes you debt, but that does not mean you are above the law. Till this is resolved, you are hereby confined to your keep under house arrest. <laughs> okay, that's great. I, that, I predicted they would be jailed, but okay. you know, it's better that they're not in jail. They, they have a better opportunity of proving they're innocent. Oh, oh yeah! Vax, the book that Vax stole! The one that he stole! <laughs> a minor inconvenience, my love. But that tome contains details of it our- It will avail them of nothing. Besides, we have the means of retrieving it, don't we? Possible that the book that Vax stole was a book of necromancy, maybe? <laughs> I don't know, but she said that their plans were in it, though. That That's even more interesting, I think, because what are their plans, right? I'm excited to see the contents of what's inside that book and what the Briarwood's actual plan is, because um, the more you resist it sounds like they have like a bigger, bigger on, overarching man, it's not plan. A weapon. I just want to serenade the group. And you're doing us a favor. Your belongings will be returned if you are exonerated. All points of egress to this compound are being surveilled. If you attempt to escape, you will be Bro, executed. this guy's accent is like you so out of joking? place. <laughs> I do not. Know. I don't know why. Bro, Vox Machina disarmed looks so weird, man. Especially Grog without his like trademark axe in the back. Just looks awkward as heck, man. I really hope they talk about what happened with Percy and the whole play Doctor Doctor Mask shit. Let's fuck up these guards and bust out of here. Oh, so you'd like to be fugitives of the crown, wanted in every corner of Teldore? If Uriel is under a charm, maybe Pike has a spell that can cure him. Oh yeah, um, Pike's Pike. Everlight was destroyed last episode, Where'd you man. Go? Huh? Oh, um, I, I, I don't know what she said. We need to talk, all of us. Come on. Percival? Certainly. What would you like to discuss, Vexalia? Yes, <laughs> they definitely need to what talk, the hell man. Back Yo, like, you, you need to air this shit out, man. You never killed your family? I want to know about the smoke! Sorry. I did... Sorry. Smoke. My weapon burns black powder. 
Perhaps that's what you no, saw. No, that's not what they saw, bro. Stop bullshitting, bro. Stop bullshitting. <laughs> Maybe I got carried away. But you don't know the Briarwoods. What they did to my family. Then why don't you tell us? Thank you. Please. Stop hiding shit, bro. <laughs> when they arrived in Whitestone, the Briarwoods came as allies. But they brought dark ambitions. Oh my they god, bro. In cold they, blood. they slaughtered all of his family like that, Seizing bro? My Yo, and that's his whole- that's their whole tutor. crew, too! The man my parents entrusted with our safekeeping betrayed us. After enduring weeks of torture, my sister Cassandra and I tried to escape together. But... The Briarwoods oh, know I'm alive now. The way that they, they, they hunted his sister and him like, a, like dogs and like so animals and shit was disgusting, man. Yes, what's the plan, bro? What's the plan? Thank you. I love these guys, bro. I hope this is to your liking. You take me to the nicest places. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, she's definitely a necromancer, man. She she's channeling something much darker, bro. That's death magic right there. That's magic from hell right there. She's raising the dead. Ooh, interesting, yo. Percy knew that their their new house had like yeah, dude, secret caverns and crevices and shit. <laughs> you okay, Pikey? Yeah, I'm fine. Pike, Pike's going through it though, man, with that Everlight thing that she lost. I, wa so I want to know what it is though. Is it like a living yeah, thing duck. in her weapon? Your group clearly can't be trusted. So we're separating you. Like children. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that the, the king knew that they were going to try to escape through that little secret hole. <laughs> I shouldn't have listened to Percy. He's out of his mind. Uh, he certainly complicated things. As a way to make our situation simpler, you and I have escaped from worse. Are they really considering abandoning him, man? Even the after they told them the that they were going to help him? Not you and me. True. We could. And why aren't we? Because they can't abandon these guys, man. That's why. They've, 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 they've built a family here. Whether they like it or not, they built a family here. Oh, did she Someone did there. she summon a monster to go and retrieve the book? So are these gonna gonna have to fight like a creature? That's gonna be <laughs> scary, man. Everlight, are you there? So this Everlight thing is a living thing, I think, right? That's connected with her. Sorry, Pikey. <laughs> You always talk in your sleep. I think when Delilah attacked her with that lightning and it hit the Everlight, it destroyed it or something. And it, and it severed the connection with it. Ooh, what's this powder? Herbs and spices? The ashes of my ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> God. That's why you just don't pick up random things okay. and eat it. Um, Pike? After that spell hit me, the... The Everlight, it, it's like she can't hear me anymore. Oh. Do you think she's mad at you? I mean, maybe... Maybe you should just say sorry. Hey, did you see something? Hey. My guy got, what like, killed so quickly. Within like a second, he was dead. What is this thing? Is that is that blood or is that like a, a like ink or like or like a shadow or something? That didn't look like blood to me. It looked something like something different. So, just you and me in here. I may never see my family again. What? Yeah, my arm and day. I don't get to go home until I complete it and prove myself worthy. I'm just saying, I know you think you're alone, that we don't know what you're going through, but you don't have to be. I 
appreciate that, Keyleth. Truly, and for the record, I think you're damn worthy. <laughs> but there's a world of difference between your struggle and mine. Whether you succeed or fail, your family is still alive. Where have the guards gone? Fan out. Shh. It was a fuss, boy. Nothing's out here. Bro, I'm surprised Trinket's still alive, man. That doesn't sound good. That's so we scary, man, yo. I don't even know what that thing is. It just kills them so quickly. And like puts this song. weird black shit inside Rog, them. Do your grog thing. You got it. What did you do? Don't look at me! All I did was make a hoagie! Five of my men are dead. If you didn't kill them, who did? It's funny how he's just assuming that they killed them or something. Like, why would they kill them? Like, like if they wanted to, they would have already done it. Yo, those look like wraiths, yo. I think they're wraiths. Or like a, or a version of a wraith or something. Oh shit, yo! That went inside her, bro! Is she gonna die? I didn't know Keyleth could transform into animals! Yo, that's cool! Scanlan. Damn it. Does that mean that they're dying or something? Cause it looks like they're struggling right now. Oh, that sucked! So what do these things do? Do they like fill them up with black goo or something, and it like kills them from the inside? We need a way to fight them. Yo, what is happening to Keyleth? No! 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 Yo! Yo, they're going through the walls, man. No shit, Sherlock. Why can't I hit you? Yo, how are they gonna take these things down? It looks like everybody's getting taken out. Oh, I think I see what's happening here. Maybe, maybe Pike's ever like goddess power is going to save everybody or something. Oh, never mind. I think maybe light or something destroys them. Yeah. So I think the ever, I think the ever lights the thing that's going to defeat them. It's gonna come full circle. Never mind, never mind. I thought it was gonna be Pike, but it's gonna be Keyleth. <laughs> I kinda low key feel bad for these things. <laughs> They're probably getting tortured like crazy right now. No! Yeah. Bro. They're all just like so mad right now, just beating on these things. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're dead already, but <laughs> you know, I love the scene. They did not need to go that hard, but they did, and I <laughs> it was great. Where did those foul things come from? We told you, the Briarwoods. And they'll no doubt send more. We can't stay. You intend to stop those that did this to my men. You have my word. No goodbye. I'm going to Whitestone. And so are we. If we beat Silas, his charm on Uriel will fade. And we can clear our names. I like that Percy doesn't want to involve them. I love that. Because he doesn't want to get They're them killed, you, bro. But They're like, you no gotta be surprise, honest, bro. All right? You gotta be honest. You gotta Understood. be straight with us, man. We'll help Thank you, you with this. All of you. Oh, I know, darling. But you'll be safer here at the keep. We'll be back soon. Aw, they're not taking trinket, bro. Man, that's like the ultimate mascot, bro. Yo, I'm so excited, man. I'm hyped for this adventure that they're about to go on to go get revenge on the Briarwoods. <laughs> this is gonna be so great. This is gonna be honestly so great. <laughs> I'm excited. Very well. To Whitestone. I'm not going. Whoa. <gasps> what do you mean? I can't hear the Everlight. It's like you said, Grog. Like I said, I man, I need to tell she, her sorry. she's feeling useless Properly. or something. I have to do this alone, buddy. Ah, oh, yo, she's going on her own I little journey, you. man. 
of self-discovery. What if I need you? <laughs> you can always talk to me. Even if I'm not around. You'll feel me there with you. You're their light now. Ah, oh, that was hard, man. Is Pike really gonna separate from us for a little while? I guess she is, man. She's gotta go solve her own journey, man. Alright, guys. That was Vox Machina, episode 4. I'm gonna just keep saying it every time. It's a great episode. Like, <laughs> like the show can't go wrong. It hits on like so many notes. It's not even funny. But not what I expected. I thought they were gonna be jailed, but I guess they got put on house arrest, which made it a little bit better because it gave everybody a bit of freedom and to kind of talk things out. I'm glad finally that Percy opened up to them. I wasn't sure where we were gonna go with it last episode. Like he was very angry, and I didn't know if he was if he really was going to stay with everybody or kind of push them away it seemed like he wanted to push them away but i don't think they'll let him and i like that a lot so we got to see silas and delilah um go out we got to also see a bit of the backstory of the massacre that actually happened with percy and his family you know we learned that the briar woods first came as allies to um whitestone you know try to act like they were friends and things and then they betrayed everybody and massacred them it was really great to see the full lineup of the Briarwood clan because it wasn't just the Briarwoods. There were like some other people there that because when I first saw the backstory, right, when we were, we were looking at it before, um, it didn't look like the same Briar. It didn't look like Silas and Delilah were the ones who were murdering their parents and things like that, especially the one with the crossbow. It looked like a different person. Further on, you know, with those little um, those race things was really scary. Like that was one moment where I thought they were actually going to die. <laughs> like and when it started going into them and like like basically doing the thing where their eyes were bleeding out black goop and and like everything was bleeding out black goop i felt like they could have died especially keyleth did you see how she looked like with the black goop and it was like like it looked like she was getting possessed man i thought pike was going to be the one who who jumps in and, and brings out the everlight but she wasn't now pike has separated and she's got to go on her own journey of self-discovery and try to fix the everlight apparently while everybody else kind of is now going on an adventure to go fight the um to go basically get revenge on the Briarwoods. I am so excited for what's gonna happen next. Um, I think there's just gonna be a lot more things that are gonna keep happening. I can't predict this show and I like that a lot because it's not predictable at all. It's very, very unique and, and you know, unpredictable. <laughs> With that note, I think I'll, I'll leave the video off here. See you guys around. Again, thank you guys all for the support you give. It's greatly appreciative and keeps pushing me to do these videos. With that though, I will see you guys around. Bye.